So I wanted to talk about Volition shutting down because, you know, for a while, the Saints Row series meant a lot to me. And it really, what I would consider to be one of my favorite game series of all time up until Saints Row the Third, and then Saints Row 4, and then Saints Row Get Out of Hell. And I never played the new reboot game, but I've heard a lot of bad things about it. The fact that the updates that they did for the new Saints Row included cutting dialogue from the story because of how awful the lines were. Like, that, I think that just speaks volumes about just how terrible modern day volition is or i guess was because they are officially shutting down and look i feel indifferent because it's very clear that the same people who made saints row 1 and saints row 2 at least the vast majority of them are not the same people who worked on the new game to be fair that's something that naturally occurs over time is you know when you have a studio that's been around for 20 years people obviously retire they move on to different jobs or whatever but in the case of Volition, the quality of their games have gone down so much like that. Who really cares at this point that they're gone? I don't, and I'm pretty sure most people don't. Although I know there are a lot of people that loved Saints Row 3 and Saints Row 4. I am one of the few people that points out the objective problems with those two games. Mainly the fact that Saints Row the Third has about 90% less content than Saints Row 2. Never mind the story and how awful the writing is in that game, and how it just basically appeals to 12-year-old kids that think, oh, purple dildo, so funny, ha ha ha, and that's basically the entire game. No, they had, the, the single-player campaign was a third of the length of Saints Row 2, and they removed competitive multiplayer completely, so that's already half the game gone there, but... Yeah, with the single player, it was so much shorter than Saints Row 2, but most of the missions that were in the campaign for Saints Row 3 were actually side missions. They took side missions from Saints Row 2 and presented them as main story missions in Saints Row 3. Like, uh, it's, it's just pure laziness. And the open world, when you have an open world game, just having an open world for no reason doesn't really serve any purpose. In the case of Saints Row 1, and especially Saints Row 2, the city of Stillwater was probably one of the most vibrant and immersive open world settings that I've ever experienced in my 20 plus years of playing video games. It was just amazing, fantastic. Then you get Steelport in Saints Row 3, and then Saints Row 4, it's even worse. But it's weird because the game takes a more funny, cartoonish, over-the-top tone you know, especially when compared to the previous games, like Saints Row 3 is basically like a new fresh start for the Saints Row series in that it's just the most chaotic, over-the-top, crazy gaming experience you could possibly have. And there is fun to have in Saints Row the Third. I'm not trying to say that it has nothing going for it, but it was so off-putting that the game presented itself in such a way that it was like this crazy, over-the-top experience, never took itself too seriously, like just so colorful but the actual open world of Steelport was so gray, dull, boring, and there was nothing to do. Like, it just felt so lifeless. The NPCs didn't do anything. The, it, was, it was just so bland. You couldn't do, like, do anything in that game. There were no activities at all. No side content. No places you actually wanted to explore in the city. Like, it just felt like such a contrasting tone to what they were actually going for in the story, in the gameplay, and everything else. Like, you had a gun that could shoot sharks that eats your enemies alive. Like, that's just one example of, like, just the crazy shit that was going on in that game. And Saints Row 4 just, like, lost its way completely. And there were a lot of people I know that loved Saints Row 3, but hated Saints Row 4. Weirdly enough, Angry Joe was the opposite. He hated Saints Row 3 and loved Saints Row 4, which he's one of the very few people that has that opinion. But... Yeah, I don't know what happened with Volition after that. Because despite what problems that I had with Saints Row 3 and Saints Row 4, they still sold a ton of copies. They they sold millions of copies. And they just kind of went dark. Saints Row was dead and dormant. And they weren't doing anything with it during a time period when we didn't have any new Grand Theft Auto games for a decade and counting. They say GTA 6 is coming out either next year or the year after. I don't even know at this point. I know it is happening because of all the leaks, but it's just like, it's so weird. The time that they decide to stop making Saints Row games is actually the time where they have, like, they actually had an opportunity to shine. Because for how long 
was Saints Row considered a GTA clone, especially the early days of Saints Row. Saints Row 1 was basically just called a blatant clone, a ripoff of GTA San Andreas specifically. And Saints Row 2 also got that, even though if you play GTA 4 and Saints Row 2, those games came out the same exact year. They are completely different experiences from the gameplay to the presentation, everything. So I just like the, the, the whole idea of calling it a GTA clone is stupid. But even if it was, it's like a perfect time for us to have a GTA clone would have been from 2013 until now. And they had that opportunity one more time with the Saints Row reboot. And it just, it didn't resonate with anyone. The classic Saints Row fans, the OGs like me, who loved Saints Row 1 and 2, we weren't interested in it because they obviously weren't going back to the roots of Saints Row. We knew that was, like, just the, from the reveal trailer, it had more dislikes than likes because the way they presented it was just, like, just lame and tacky, you know? Even the people who loved the crazy, ridiculous shit that was going on in Saints Row 3 and 4 also hated the Saints Row reboot. So... This game had no fans, and that doesn't even include the technical bugs and all those issues that just completely killed the game, and it took them forever to fix it. I don't even know if it's all fixed yet, but yeah, it's just, it, it's it's sad, but it's also, I don't really have sympathy for these people because they should have just been more talented if they want to keep their jobs. Like, look, I understand stuff happens with publishers influencing things behind the scenes, but publishers, I, I don't think that Deep Silver, or whoever's in charge at this point, I don't think that they told Volition to write the game the way that they wrote it and just have such terrible, terrible writing. Like, oh my god. I saw some of the dialogue, like YouTube videos, and it is just so cringe. It is so cringe. And, like, the word cringe these days is cringe, so I should stop saying it. But you know what I mean? It's just like, ugh, it's painful to sit through. As much as they neutered the characters from Saints Row 2 to Saints Row 3, at least the characters still had something to them. Like, in the Saints Row reboot, it was just a bunch of Gen Z fucking hipsters that just randomly decide to form a gang and kill a bunch of people. Like, it's just, it's so hard to really immerse yourself into that, you know? It didn't help that the characters were completely forgettable and unlikable. And I forgot to mention Agents of Mayhem in between Saints Row 4 and the Saints Row reboot. They did Agents of Mayhem in 2017, I believe, and it was just this weird single player hero shooter thing that also just felt like a case of them not knowing what the fuck they were doing not really having a clear identity of what this game was and what it was supposed to be and why you should care about it volition definitely lost their way it's like bioware they made dragon age inquisition and mass effect andromeda and those games were complete dog shit compared to the original dragon age well dragon age origins that's the only good dragon age that has ever existed and obviously the Mass Effect trilogy. Like, when we're talking about Andromeda, the quality, you can't even compare it. Could also say the same thing for Infinity Ward. They used to be my favorite video game developer when I was a young kid. I loved my Call of Duty 4 and Modern Warfare 2. Modern Warfare 3 was just a blatant copy and paste of MW2. And then Ghost was a thing, and I don't need to say anything more about that. Infinite Warfare... Modern Warfare 2019, the very worst Call of Duty of all time. I have just been let down so much by these developers that used to be my favorites. That if I hear that they're shutting down, if I heard that Bioware was shutting down, or Infinity Ward was shutting down, I just, I feel nothing. I feel indifferent because I just recognize that they're not the same developers that I once loved. And it doesn't really matter because they died a long time ago when their games stopped being good. I'm not necessarily going to celebrate the fact that people lost their jobs, even though I stand by the fact that I don't think that these people were very good at their jobs, but, you know, there were some people that were caught in the crossfire that probably tried everything they could, but they were just up against the wall in terms of the people that were leading the project, and they were just trying their best to deliver a quality product despite all of the hurdles in their way, despite all the deadlines, despite the terrible writing team, despite all these different things. And unfortunately, there, you know, there were talented people, I'm sure, that were caught in the crossfire and are basically going down with the Titanic. That is always a sad thing. So I'm not going to gloat and be like, ha ha ha, all of you fuckers lost your jobs. You made shitty games and that's what happens. Even though I kind of was saying that a few minutes ago, 
I feel kind of bad about that already. I mean, the riding team, I don't feel bad about them losing their jobs because they just suck. But, yeah, I remember uh, it was, what, 2017 that I made the video right after Agents of Mayhem came out that Volition is officially dead. Well, now it is official. They are dead. They are no longer a studio. And Saints Row is also likely dead forever. But the way I see it, Volition and Saints Row... They've already been dead for 15 years. 